Hot job, hot job. What do we got here? It's a nice fish, dude. Ah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice little bass. Nice. Literally right as I started the video. Okay, so I guess I'll start it off like that. What's going on guys? Trinity or Beach Trinity here today bringing you the first video of the 2021 ice season. Ice is finally thick enough and right as I started the video, Brandon caught that little nice guy. I'm going to get my line in the water because I haven't even freaking... They jump out. They like, they like jumping out. Second fish of the day, Brandon's hooked up again. Looking like a little bit nicer of fish here. Yeah, let him go if he needs to go, Brandon. If he needs to go, you let him go. Oh, baby, what do we got here? What's he fighting like? Oh, my God. I still haven't seen Wait. him. Oh, it's a nice bass. It's a nice bass. Oh, my God. Holy crap, dude. Okay, so yeah, welcome to Brandon's channel. <laughs> nice fish. Right side of the mouth, too. That is a nice fish. I... This is probably the smallest one that we caught. Okay. Yeah. That's ridiculous. 17 on the dot. Oh, you just caught him. You just caught him. He's right. He's right. He's right. He got him. Nice fish, dude. I think I'm still recording. Hooked up again. Third fish of the day. Guess who's catching it? Brandon. <laughs> That's so sweet. You can see the bobber under the ice right under us. Under you. It's on that new setup too. Another bass. Another bass. Another nice one, dude. I gotta tighten my drag a little bit. <laughs> well, so that's, I don't know, probably like not even 30 minutes, and that's Brandon's third bass while we're out here already. A little bit smaller than the last one, but still a nice fish. Nice, nice. Oh. Hey, that one. But. I'm watching it. I saw it. Did it just. Did I get this one? There you go. No! Bobber's gone. Bobber's gone again. Not even five minutes after that last bass he caught. Oh! Setting into him. Setting into him. Hooked up again. See ya! How's he feel, Brandon? I don't know. <laughs> he says, I don't know. I still can't see him. He's pulling good. Yeah, he... Just, I just want to see you. That's all I ask. Just let it's me... Over there. Is it? Yep. No, it's not nice one. Holy crap. Dude. Grab him. What, dude? Holy crap. Okay, so that's another, that's really another three pounder. So my camera didn't turn on in time, but. Dude, he's got a mouthful. Brand just caught a nice little freaking crappie. I'm just smacking on a bag of chips. Okay, so I suppose I'll uh, do a little bit of explaining to you guys for what we're doing today. Um, with those rods that are set up right there, those holes you can see that are drilled, we have uh, just little crappie minnows on them because uh, we are fishing the Mississippi today and there's three of us so we can have two rods each so that combines to six so that's why we have just some rods sitting over there and we're just kind of waiting for bites. Brandon is the only one, his rods has been the only one getting the bites so far but we're going to get some fish for sure. Yeah, I guess sunnies don't count as game. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Tyler did catch a sunfish. I forgot about that. Can't leave him out of that. My bad, dude. 
Brandon's hooked up again. Haven't had a bobber go down in like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, nice bass. Another bass. Nice. Those ice like perfect out here. Seems like it. Oh god, yeah. Beautiful. Pull them up. That's your what? Fourth bass today, isn't it? Yeah. Fourth. Probably the smallest one I'd say out of all of them, but he is still the only one with a fish currently. We all still have bobbers down, but it's just kind of slowing down. But we're not giving up. Okay, so I wasn't recording, but uh, there's my first fish of the day. This is a six inch hole. I actually just measured, he's 11 inches, so not a bad crappie. I wouldn't say huge, but nothing to complain about. Oh. Oh. Hooked up, first bobber that's went down in a minute, actually. Dude, I saw it just bite a little bit. Careful, the ice is pretty thin here. Too. Yeah. Drill. Have you seen him? Nope. He took a lot of line before I got here. Oh my lord, this could be it right here, boys. Oh, he's big. Oh my god, he's huge. It's a bass. It's huge. It's a huge it's bass. Huge. It's a huge it's bass. Huge. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Just... Stop, no, no, no. stop, 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 stop. I'm not gonna grab until I see his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Board, where's the board? Come, come this way with him, Brandon. <laughs> Holy crap. Nine. 19 on the dot. No. All right. Nine. 19, almost 19, 19 and a half. And a half almost. Literally. Dude, that's a nice fish. You have to send me that picture. That you I will. I got, a, I got some good ones. Biggest fish of the day. Brandon caught one a little bit bigger than this last week. Actually, if you could even believe that, I literally couldn't. <laughs> yes, sir. 10 minute rule. Shannon found his first fish through the tip up. He had a couple other bites, but we uh, sadly lost him. Yo, 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 yo. No. Oh. 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 Oh, he's good. He's good. No, we were going <laughs> to. All right, so that is going to wrap up the first day of fishing. Uh, we are going to go out in the morning. I'm going to try to get a couple more fish from my perspective for you guys. Uh, Brandon hammered him today. He probably caught over six or seven pounds of bass. He caught a 17 and a 19. Shandy caught a nice crappie uh, and he caught a bluegill and I also caught a nice crappie when we were out here for about eh, three to four hours. So I'd say that wasn't a bad trip. But um, if you guys did get to this part of the video, I appreciate you for watching this one and all the other ones on my channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Welcome back to day two guys. Uh, we are actually out at a different spot than I thought we were gonna be at today. Um, yesterday morning we were at the Mississippi River and today we're actually just at a pond that's probably about uh, 20 minutes away from my house we're staying in town just because there is a blizzard warning at 3 and in the background I got my buddy Brandon with me it's just me and him today and we're gonna be trying to get a nice panfish bite this place has um, quality and quantity so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get my line down there I'll show you guys what I'm using to start off with pretty simple sticking to the basics here um, I just got a little tungsten right there with just tip with a wax worm simple as that and I'm actually marking a fish right now I don't know if you guys can see no I think on the GoPro the um, Vexler looks kind of goofy but there's one got him nicer one or rat oh not a bad one about the same size as the last one. Super pretty fish though. Awesome colors. Don't you spine me. I'm just trying to show you off. Um, just a small little guy, nothing to brag about, but we will run into some slabs out here. This place has some nice panfish. Actually for the first time ever through the ice, me and my buddy, 
we caught a bass and a crappie out at this spot a couple of days ago and I've never seen either come out so there's another one loaded right now and if you guys are wondering why my drag keeps going off of these little fish my drag is broken on this rod so once again nothing to brag about but uh, awesome looking fish this time different from the last one there must be just a bunch of different kinds of species of bluegill in here oh get down in there he'll find his way come on get in there see ya we are loaded with fish right now so every time i drop it there's already one waiting There is my biggest one of the day. Nothing too crazy, probably about a six incher. But it's a start, that is a start. He actually snapped my line. I don't know how that happened, but he completely snapped my tungsten off. I don't know. Okay, it's just gonna keep going and not stop. It's gonna go to the bad side. Hey! Juice route. Clam slow, clam slow. I think we are hooked up with the first bass. Yes! Yes! I told you, dude! Dude, that was, that was a huge mark. Nice! That so. Huge, obviously, but. Right, as I, was <laughs> as I was telling you guys in the beginning of the video, we don't catch many bass out of this place and the other day I caught one so I figured we'd come out to the same spot and oh I'm hooking Brandon's Vexler here no we literally did um just a little transition over into the deeper water we're in about 10 feet of water right now it's about seven right there and five over there and continuing on and it's just a little bit deeper here and that must be where the bass are sitting because it's the only place where we've caught them here okay so I didn't have my camera on because I'm running low on space but I definitely catch a nice little bass on the rattle trap there is my first bass of the day out here through the ice. Actually, this is the biggest bass I've ever caught through the ice, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Not a bad little fish. Game off of that white and chartreuse little rattle trap right there. I tipped it with the wax worm just to increase the profile a little bit and that Seem to have done the trick. I literally, in my head boot, I looked at the time on my GoPro that I had left to record, and I clicked stop record. I was like, dude, I'm really gonna catch a fish. Right Ooh. Another fish on the rattle bait. Do not know about you guys, but I cannot go ice fishing without a cooler of snacks. Also, shout out to Mountain Dew for the cooler. Super freaking awesome. Just munching on a bag of barbecue lays right now. Nothing beats it. I was gonna show you guys this at the beginning of the video, but I just forgot to. This is actually the new Northland uh, Tackle. I think it is the Cherry Picker. Yeah, 28 inch Cherry Picker. Super nice rod, also super expensive, but I do like it so far. I haven't had any problems with it. I'm running four, yeah, I got four pound, four pound mono on this right now, just cause I like to stick to super, light line for the ice oh my biggest gill of the day coming on that rattle trap again and i just tipped it with a wax worm just to increase my odds of possibly catching these guys and yeah that's a that's a decent sized bluegill nothing huge by any means this pond that's a pretty good size one uh, my buddy tyler actually when we were out here the other day caught some of the biggest freaking bluegills that i've ever seen come out of here probably like 10 or 11 inches but yeah that is not bad i'll never complain about catching those size of fish see you buddy